Well, hey guys, welcome to Life Nuggets 24. Amen. Supercharging your life, getting supercharged, getting bumped up, you know, getting jacked up in the spirit of God and propelling and moving forward. Amen. So to, I, I talked about uh, first part of the week, supercharging your life through your giving and through your finances, you know, living supernaturally in your giving and receiving. Secondly, we talked about living a lifestyle of prayer. Amen. Prayer moves mountains like faith. Amen. Prayer opens doors. You know, if you know prayer, you'll know power. If you don't have any prayer, you won't have any power. Amen. Hallelujah. For God does nothing except an answer to prayer. And he wants you to partner with him and pray in his will in the earth so we can see mighty things in your life and in the church and in the nation and in the world. Amen. Kingdom come. Will of the Lord be done. Amen. Now, today I want to talk to you, uh, supercharge number three, living a fasted lifestyle. Amen. Don't turn me off yet. Fasting, my friends, is the atomic bomb of the Spirit. You know, Jesus said, not when you fast, but it, not if you fast, but when you fast. Fasting is a normal part of, 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 a, of a spiritual person. Amen. Fasting subdues the flesh. Fast is, fasting cleanses the body, cleanses the soul, cleanses the spirit. Amen. Fasting should be a normal part of, of you seeking God and walking with him. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, for example, when Jesus took Peter and John up, uh, and them up on the Mount of Transfiguration, uh, they, when they came down the mountain, amen, the disciples were in an uproar uh, trying to cast a devil out of a young man. And uh, Jesus said, you know, bring the boy here. You know, how long shall I put up with you? Amen. You all have no faith here. Jesus rebuked the devil, gave the boy back to his father. The disciples came to him and said, hey, why couldn't we cast this devil out and heal this boy? Jesus said, this kind comes out except by prayer and fasting. Amen. Luke, uh, Matthew 17 and Luke 9. So here's the deal. The Lord told me this years ago. Do you see there are mountains in your life that will not be moved? There are blessings that will not come. There are souls that will not be saved. There's decisions that God cannot give. There are, are valleys that will not be exalted. There are breakthroughs that will not come unless you pray and fast and seek God. Amen. Fasting empowers the spirit, man. Amen. It subdues the flesh. Amen. It breaks every yoke and crushes every chain and fetter. Fasting propels you and supercharges you, and God brings forth answers in prayer. Amen. Through your fasting, amen, uh, and, and the devil is completely defeated. So, amen. For example, Paul, he was knocked off his high horse, you know, and then he spends three days fasting. You know, the Lord speaks to him and shows him a man named Ananias comes to him, prays for Paul, scales fall off Paul's eyes. God speaks and gives him a ministry, amen, and sends him into all the world, hallelujah. Uh, and the nation of Nineveh, uh, Jonah preached, 40 more days and Nineveh will be destroyed. The king humbled himself, tore his robes, declared a fast. The whole nation fasted for a whole day. Not, not even the animals drank anything. And God moved mightily and saved the nation and spared it for another 120 years. I'm telling you, friends, if you need a breakthrough in your life, amen, mix fasting with your prayer. And you know what? Live a fasted lifestyle. You can't be involved in everything. You can't do everything in Jesus you need to simplify your life, get rid of the stuff hindering your life, and live a fasted lifestyle. And you will get supercharged. You'll stay supercharged. Amen. You'll be healthier. You'll be wiser. You'll hear God's spirit because fasting uh, quiets the flesh. You know, the Lord said, man does not live on bread alone but every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Amen. So live a fasted lifestyle. Go into your room, shut your door, pray and fast. And the Father who sees what you're doing in secret will reward you openly, saints. Amen. Hallelujah. Remember, here's my saying this week, 
king, living by kingdom principles, you'll reap kingdom results and rewards. Can somebody say amen? So add tithing and giving to your lifestyle. Add prayer and fasting, amen. And you'll get and you'll stay supercharged. And people will go, what's going on with these people? What's going on with this guy? They'll take note that you have been with Jesus. Get supercharged, and I'll see you next time. God bless you.